Greetings fellow stargazers and astrophotographers. Welcome to another quick tip tutorial for PixInsight. I'm Sean Nielsen of VisibleDark.ca. In this tutorial tip, we're going to look at the auto color script by Hartmut Borneman. Now this script is extremely easy to use. Uh, if you've ever struggled with color calibration in PixInsight, um, you'll find that this script, the auto color script is pure genius and um, your new best friend. Uh, so let's get started and have a look at uh, just how easy it is to, uh, to use. Um, so what I have here is um, the uh, red, green, and, and blue channels of M31. And uh, I need to combine that first uh, into an RGB uh, image. So I'm going to do that by going to Processes, uh, Color Spaces, and Channel Combination. And I will select the red channel and I will select the green channel and finally the blue channel and then we'll let Pix and Sites combine those for us. Okay we now have that combined and we can give it an auto stretch. Excellent. Okay, let me just close these off so we don't need them anymore. We'll just tuck them up here in the corner. All right, so there's our RGB image, combined RB RGB image. And uh, uh, as you can see, um, it needs uh, some work <laughs> and it uh, needs to be color calibrated. The first thing we want to do, though, is crop it just to get rid of these bad edges that are there because of stacking uh, various nights of data together. So we'll go to processes, uh, geometry, and dynamic crop, and we'll use the dynamic crop to to simply crop our image as such. That'll get rid of the bad edges for us. Okay, that is done. Now the next thing that we want to do before we get to the auto color script, and I know that you really want to get to this, uh, color calibrating made easy super easy but hang in there for me uh, we need to do a dynamic background extraction first I've already got something preset that we can use to make this go a little uh, quicker and there we have it uh, everything looks fairly decent still yep okay we're good with that so we're gonna do a uh, division on it first and we will discard the background model and replace the target image because we're good to go with this. Let PixInsight do its thing here. And once the division DBE is done, we're going to do a subtraction DBE. And then we can move on to the color calibration. Okay, and it's almost done. There we go. Okay, let's just reset that image. All right, and now we're going to do subtraction on it. Once this dynamic background extraction is done, we'll be uh, in a position to do our color calibration. Okay, that is done. Okay, so that looks great. So we got a nice uh, uniform background to that and everything looks 
Fantastic. So let's move on. Um, now I'm going to assume that you've uh, previously installed the auto color script, but if you haven't, um, I'll leave information in the comment section uh, below the description uh, if section I should say below and um, that'll help you uh, find the auto color script and uh, and find instructions for how to install it um, for now we're just going to move on and I'm going to show you how it works once you have the script installed uh, you'll find it under script utilities and auto color click on auto color and it will load the uh, auto color script and what you'll discover is it'll start going to work automatically and it will take a few minutes for it to process your RGB image but when it's done it'll be automatically cal color calibrated and ready to continue processing into something fantastic you'll notice that I haven't had to work with color calibration or photometric color calibration I've been able to simply run one script and have it do all the work for me in producing a color calibrated image and I think you're gonna like this I think you're gonna find it super easy and like I said if you ever struggled with color calibration in PixInsight this is the answer and there it's done and now we just have to redo our auto stretch on that and the end result is a beautifully color calibrated image that was super simple to do you can now do your noise reduction and you can stretch the image and you can do some curves and color saturation whatever you want to do at this point you're ready to go the color calibration process is done and it took just a few minutes so I hope that you find the color calibration script by Hartmut Borneman very, very useful. I think you will. I know I do. Thanks for watching. Clear skies and keep looking up.